green thumb in it all over the show and having walking on my plan is like the best thing ever. So Having walking on my plan is the best thing ever. So for this week, we've kind of mixed things up a little bit and um, Georgia gave me an hour's walk. So I decided to make it a Sunday thing. So today I'm off and I'm just strolling around my area, having a nice little walk. I've got no real intention of where I'm going. I'm just kind of wandering down odd roads and then coming back on myself. And it's just really nice to just be outside. It's so quiet because it's a Sunday morning and it's only like, I think 9 a.m and it's just heaven like the fact that i'm literally walking along and it's just like all green around me i don't know if you can see over there but it's just like a big open field we do have houses over here but we can ignore that we're looking this way we've got a nice big open fields and it's just so lush i'm really enjoying it this is something that i think i needed to do for myself because as much as it's like a fitness thing to be like going out on a walk and like getting moving and stuff i'm not gonna lie though should have thought about the hay fever situation really didn't think that one through but here we are we're moving it's a sunday morning it's beautiful it's sunny it's like 20 degrees and i'm so grateful for where i am right now oh my goodness today has been the harry styles run around to put this into perspective we only got our tickets two weeks ago and we only confirmed that we had the tickets three days ago so our outfits have been very last minute like it's been kind of buying the odd bit just in case we definitely got them but we didn't know because we were buying them off someone else we didn't know this person it was all done through instagram so amelia and i have been buying like feather bows and stuff off of like amazon the amazon ones look really full of beautiful you get them and they are literally like straggly and sad looking like just not good so we decided to go on a little like look around this morning thinking oh there won't be that many people in our area going like it'll be fine i have gone to three no two different party shops um but one of them was like a chain so they had a different one and neither of them had any feather boas one said that she'd sold out of like 50 since last weekend um then i went to the second one who told me they had white and then i got there and they didn't have white anymore so we've been around like various shops we've been around all the clothes accessories we've been in primarks so that we've been everywhere i've been in three different town centers and um in the end i ended up getting dark blue boas which isn't ideal we did want pink but they just didn't have any pink so what can you do in that situation like we just we had to grin and bear so luckily it does kind of go with our outfits but we've got pink heart-shaped sunglasses so we wanted pink boas but the pink boas are pathetic so we've ended up blue so anyway i then get home and find out that a primark that is like not too it's like 20 minutes away from me so bearing in mind i've been to a town center that's 10 minutes away 20 minutes away and like 15 minutes away so three different town centers i'm now going to the fourth one and they supposedly have silver cowboy boots for 24 pounds i looked online because on primark website you can check stock availability and online it said that they had them so i'm hoping and praying that when i get there they've still got them for one and that they've got my size for two if they've got a size down or up i'm just going to chance it um like if they don't have my size and we'll see because if they're a little bit big i don't think it will matter because i'm going to be so hot tomorrow that my feet are going to get swollen anyway um but i'm praying praying that they have them in stock and i also need to get some tint for my lashes and my brows because i bought at home lamination stuff from a place called sassy saint i'll leave it linked down below but my friend rhiannon uses them and says they're really really good so the price of buying the two kits was the price that i pay for like one and a quarter times of doing them so i thought i'm just gonna buy the stuff myself do them myself and save loads of money long term because the kit 
for both kits for the lash and the brows was like 90 pounds it cost me 80 pounds to do one session and the kits do like six per kit but um i was chatting to rhiannon and she said that she easily gets more than that per kit so she said that she's like had hers for ages and she's done maybe like eight or nine times so it should last me a good like six to twelve months um so i figured that was way more cost effective and to be honest I'm saving for a house. It's it's just a thing that needs to happen, like we need to buy this house. So I'm on like saving mode and just trying to spend as little as possible because I am very impulsively spend happy. Like I impulsive spend a lot. So I'm trying to really like rein that in and just not. So the last few months I've actually been really good at not buying clothes and not buying food and coffees and things like that. And just really thinking like, do I actually need this or am I just buying it on impulse? You could say that the silver cowboy boots are slightly impulse, however, I'm planning to go to the Taylor Swift tour next year and I also thought these boots would be handy for like festival season as well and they're only 20 quid like realistically if I don't want them anymore I can just sell them on Vinted for like a tenner and someone will need them for something or I just keep them for like future random things that I might need them for I don't know but it's fine 20 pounds is better than the 50 pounds I've spent on silver trousers as I've now got eight pairs that I've had to return so I just thought it was a bit more cost effective and if I can't get hold of them I've got black ones that I can wear I just thought the silver would be cooler. They'll work for Taylor Swift tour next year, which is definitely coming, let's be honest. They'll work for like festival season. Like they'll just be a good pair of shoes to just have. Um, very out there, but they'll be worth it. So yeah, fingers crossed. They still have them in stock. Online it said they did. It didn't say how many pairs, but it did say in stock and it didn't say low availability. So pray for me. Pray for me that I get my lash tint, my brow tint and my boots. This has been one hell of a morning. It's just been running around like a headless chicken. And we're leaving tomorrow at 6 a.m. because we've actually got a spa day before we go to Harry Styles, which is another whole long story that I'll explain tomorrow. But my stress level right now is high. And Amelia, bless her soul, is working all day and she's in meetings all day. So she's just trusted me blindly to make these decisions for her with the boas and stuff. Um, and she feels really bad that she can't help, but she's working till like 7 p.m. So I am just on like, run around admin ground control for the Harry Styles concert. <sighs> I can't wait for you to see these outfits and I can't wait to get this. Like, I just, I can't wait. Like, I love Harry Styles. I love, I weirdly, I don't actually listen to music that often. So I'm not someone who like listens to music in the gym or in the car. I prefer listening to podcasts. And like, I listen to music every now and then, but I wouldn't say it's something that I like. If I'm at home on my own, I'd rather have the telly on with like background noise and people. But I adore live music. Like I love live music so much. I've been to so many festivals. I've been to so many gigs. Like I just really appreciate live music. And Harry Styles is someone that I've wanted to see live for so long. I saw him at Coachella and he was unbelievable. I was there at the Shania Twain one. It was an experience I will never ever forget. I was very, very drunk. Poor Lauren had to kind of babysit me a little bit. <laughs> but it was amazing. I saw One Direction at Wembley nine years ago. Like it's just, I just think he's incredible and I think it's so iconic that he as a performer has for one got four nights at Wembley where he's literally packed Wembley out but for two I also think it's pretty epic that he's managed to somehow create this whole thing around feather boas where without even telling everyone to do it every single person is just wearing a feather boa like I think that's just epic he's iconic this tour is iconic and I'm so excited to be going and you know if you're a long-term viewer you already know this She's getting a t-shirt for sure. I get t-shirts every time I go to a gig, every time I go on a trip, etc. I always get a t-shirt. So you know that Harry Styles one is coming home, for sure. <laughs> Look how well my little vegetable babies are doing. So these are the tomato plants, there's two there. Well, actually there's kind of more than two. There's like four in each pot, but we just thought, see what happens, they'll grow, whatever. Um, these are the cayenne peppers here to that bit. And then we've got here the like capsicum peppers, like the red peppers. And we've got a basil that looks like it's slightly wilting, but it's actually growing. So I don't really know what's going on there. And then we've got a couple more tomatoes down here because apparently they grow really well in big pots. We thought we'd try both. And then this is basically some like excess ones. So we're gonna see how well these do 
And if these don't do very well, then we're going to put those ones up. But we've got quite a good selection going at the moment and I'm quite impressed. And I do think we're going to end up with like a whole vegetable corner here because my thought was this whole little bit here, we can just put like various pots or, you know, like the little standing planters that are like not too high. And we can just do almost like layers of um, planters and then have some little pots on the floor and stuff and just make like a really cute little garden. You know, like you can get the little ladders and stuff. Like maybe put the chair the other side and put a ladder against the wall or something. Basically, green thumb in it all over the show and I'm very very excited to finally have some bits from the garden I've been loving using the basil that one I literally bought for like 80p or something in Lidl I think it was Lidl I bought it from but really handy because it was the same price as the one in the bag and that one's going to give me basil for days and the other one would only give me basil for a day I decided to laminate my own brows and lashes I think I've already mentioned this in the vlog but I bought the dye brow stuff from Eyelaw you know the like lash and brow ones and then I bought these kits from a brand called Cersei Saints I'm making it into a YouTube video of like how I did it and whether it turns out okay or not. So you have to come back for that one, but we're at the beginning of the process and so far so good. Brows done, one eye done, one eye being done. This bit is a faff. This bit was a breeze. Oh, I'm just a bit over it. I'm so obsessed with the eyebrows guys. They look so good, but we're off to Harry Styles and I'm just waiting for Amelia to get here. I cannot wait. It's like six in the morning. We've got to go get petrol and stuff and we're driving in for a spa day first which yes defeats the point of a spa day but it's gonna be really fun and i can't wait and we've got things in the car already so all the silver boots and everything and i'm just buzzing i literally can't wait to get on the road and get there and it helps that it's like a really bright beautiful sunny day outside like there's literally not a single cloud in the sky it's just bright blue which is stunning this is what we need in our lives. But I'm so excited. I just want to get ready now. Like, I just want to do my makeup and stuff now and just be ready and just go, like. We're in London. We're going to the spa and to see Harry. <laughs> you probably can't hear me because there's a um, street cleaner in front. But we've just had hell on earth trying to find the car park. So we're going to, what's it called? The Ath Ath Athenum. Athenum for a spa day. It was my birthday present last year, but we just haven't found a time to go. Like you probably can't hear a thing after that. So we're going to the Athenum, which is my birthday present from Amelia from last year. It's a little spa day, so we're getting some treatments and stuff. But we've had hell trying to find the car park yeah, because you have to there. park at the Sheraton Grand and going around the back. And basically the road that we needed to get to was closed, but there was like a one way and we didn't realize that you're allowed to go the opposite way because it's shut. <laughs> like hell. Glad we're going to the spa because I was stressed. Everyone nearly hit me. We had tiny roads to go down. We were lost. We went down the same road 17 times. Like it's been, it's been an experience. So glad that we're finally here. We're gonna go get some treatment and stuff. And then later on, Mr. Harry Styles. We've had our massages and we actually didn't realize that we got two treatments, um, but we were sat next to, <laughs> we were lying next to each other. And um, hello. Are you ready to take a tea order? Yes. Perfect. What are you doing? Are you just, are you doing yeah, tea? Gonna, yeah, can I go for the Moroccan milk tea? Of course. Could I do, do you have almond milk? Yes we do. Can I do a coffee with almond milk please? What type of coffee would you like? You know, oh, a cappuccino. I thought you meant like what roast on <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> yeah, cappuccino. cappuccino. And then could we almond. get, yeah, thank you. And can we get two per second? Two yeah. per second? Yeah, thank you. So as I was saying, someone just came over to take our order, but um, we were lying next to each other. So we had the massages and stuff and it was fine. And then after the massage, <laughs> We had a wrap because they were like, oh, do you want a facial? I can't, so I've just had that thing. And um, we were like, oh, well, we don't really want to like mess up things because I did my brows and stuff yesterday as well. So I was like, just no. And, we got and then, tan, yeah, and then <laughs> the fake town, she was like, oh, there's a scrub. And we were like, well, we're going to see Harry Styles tonight. So like, can we just not avoid, like, can we do anything to avoid fake tan? And she was like, definitely not the scrub. So we ended up with a wrap and it was weird. I felt like a sausage. <laughs> it was like jelly. It was like a slip and slide. Yeah. I know there was tea tree in it because I heard one of them say. Yeah. But um. Yeah, you could feel it because it was like a cool. They were like it was warm so up. Cold. I didn't get warm. No, because it was cooling. It was like a cooling heat, and I was like. Yeah, she I'm was like. <laughs> She was like, I'll turn the AC off so that you sweat. And I was like, I know, I'm waiting for the sweat. sweat. <laughs> but the funniest part was she was like, do you mind if I do like your chest and your stomach? And I was like, that's fine. She put a towel over my eyes. Amelia could still see. And I was literally under a plastic sheet. 
<laughs> but did you enjoy the wrap? I, I, I didn't really enjoy the wrap. I, I thought it, was, it felt nice. It felt odd at first. When we were covered. And then, yeah, when they had the towels like over everything and like you were proper wrapped in, mm. then it was really nice. I really enjoyed it. Just, it was when they took the stuff off and then the wet towel was put back on. Yeah, and it was like freezing cold. cold. And it felt slimy. Yeah. But it was, yeah, the massage yeah. was really, really good. Which was good. Mine was so really good. nice. She could find, she was finding knots and you could just feel her like trying to like. Get it yeah, because when she got to my shoulder, she was like. Yeah. I love it. I love it. So we've had a very bougie little morning. We've had massages. We've had I look probably topless. Massages, a wrap. We've got ready. Downstairs. Children the spa. Children the spa for a bit. And now we're having cream tea and prosecco and then we're going to Wembley and we're gonna get dressed in the car. So that's gonna be a fun experience. Mm -hmm. I'm intrigued to see how this is gonna work because I feel like for one, it's gonna be really warm. For yeah. two, I don't know how the hell I'm getting that dress on without getting my whole boobs out. And then you've got to try and zip me in. I feel like if you go in the back seat, have your jacket like hung up on one window and I can just like have my like, stand at the other one. So no one can see in like either way. Yeah, you just it's like true. hook it on. I might have to lie or the back seat. And... Yeah. I think it's easier to pull it up. Yeah. And then, and then I've got little shorts to go underneath, like gym shorts, because it's very short. Mm. And then my silver boots. Which I'm a bit worried are going to hurt because they're primal specials, but we'll see. Anyway, bye. wonder what the reality of moving in together actually looks like it's living with this kind of stuff everywhere for weeks because you're both busy and still living a life that have to unpack slowly and most of this is actually stuff that's being sold and then just stuff that we need to sort out is over there but it's chaotic to say the least yesterday was so much fun i didn't really vlog too much because i was just so in the moment i don't even have many videos i think I've got like three videos but it was honestly the most fun ever i really enjoyed it I do think that he wasn't like on top form last night. Like he wasn't as jokey and stuff as normal, but it was still a really, really good show. And I think after three years of doing the same tour, you're bound to have nights where you just don't feel it. So that's fine. Um, but it was really nice. It was really good to hear all the songs live. I really enjoyed listening to like Sign of the Times and stuff. It was a very similar set list to when I went to Coachella a couple, well, a couple of years ago. What am I talking about? It was last April, it was literally a year ago. Um, but it was amazing. I absolutely loved it. And we are now in talks about potentially going to a festival called I can't remember what it's called, but it's in Glasgow and the 1975 are performing and it's on like the 8th of July. So that might be happening. <laughs> Georgia posed a question yesterday and now I'm kind of feeling like we should go. So um, we'll see if that happens. But if not, I'm really gunning for the Finsbury Park tickets for the 1975, but they've been sold out since the minute they went live and it's so annoying. So that's still something that we're considering. But Amelia is definitely my gig friend. Like we go to so many gigs together. If I ever go anywhere like the 1975 or Coldplay or whatever, it's always with her and it's so much fun. But today we have a bit of a slap back to reality. I've got some vintage parcels to post and we're gonna go buy a new bin because I had cod about a week ago and obviously the cod fillets come in like the little juice and the juice went all over the bin and the bin just absolutely stinks and we can't get rid of the smell. So we're just going to buy a new bin and a slightly bigger one because mine's really small so it fills up really quick. But, you know, all the fun and games. I feel like that's just the most underwhelming part of like being an adult is having to do things like buying a bin. It's just something you have to do. And I need to finish editing the van life vlog because I know, I know that these vlogs are late. I know they've taken me like a month to edit, but it's because... I, for one, haven't really had time to edit them. And I've been really, really trying to make sure that they're not rubbish. I really want them to be good for you. But anyway, today will be the last day of this weekly vlog because the next two days I'm actually somewhere really exciting, which I'm going to make into a separate vlog. So you're going to be seeing that in like a week or so's time. But I just thought, because it was like a little overnight stay thing with one of my friends, Tash, who you've seen a million and one times, I just thought it might be nice to do it as like a little separate something because we're going down to Winchester for the night and I think it'll be really cute. So let's go buy a bin, shall we? I also don't know if I mentioned this, but I did my online shop. I thought I bought individual bananas and like five of them. 
um, by Ashable Five Packets. So I sent two back and we've kept some. I'm going to freeze some of the bananas to make smoothies and then we're just eating our way through the rest. And these look like they need to become some banana muffins, to be honest. Oh, and this is my banana bearing outfit for the day. I'm literally just wearing this vest from Brandy Melville, which I got, I think, about a week and a half ago in store. I got it when I got the other tattoo. These jeans are Zara. I cut the hems off because they're a bit long. These are old. Don't rate Zara at all for trousers at the moment, as we know from the silver trouser fiasco. But these are, God, probably about three years old now, four years old. And I wear them all the time. And these are from Primark. They're new in, new season. All the coloured ones are seven pounds, but these were reduced to a fiver. So I thought, why not? They're like cute little platforms. Um, and then I've just got my Pradas on my head. We got a boring, ugly bin, but it's bigger. Goodbye, sad, annoying bin. Hello, ugly bin, that's gonna be more practical. about to start packing for my little overnight stay but we do have a couple of hours of free time which I think I've mentioned and the grounds of where I'm going are beautiful so I thought I'm gonna make the most of it and I'm gonna take a few extra outfits and just see if I can get some little bits of extra content yes you can see the feather boa in the mirror it's on the door of <laughs> but I thought I'd try and just make the most of being there get some extra content done and just enjoy the countryside a little bit because I think sometimes it's so easy to go on these overnight stays and not really enjoy where you are so I'm really determined to do that and to just like go on little walks around the gardens and that kind of thing and I just think it'd be nice to also get some pics along the way so I've planned some outfits. I'm thinking I'm going to travel in this linen skirt which is from Urban Outfitters and then pop a little black t-shirt on with it or the black trousers with the belt I haven't decided yet and then some chunky flip-flops which I was wearing uh, earlier yeah earlier for you guys <laughs> Earlier for me too, I don't know what I'm talking about. Then the back, the black bag. This is going to be my dinner outfit. So I've got my vintage Gucci. This play suit, jumpsuit, is from Urban Outfitters as well. And it's stunning. So it's like a waistcoat at the top and it's got a tie at the back. And then it's just wide-legged and it's beautiful. And I thought I'd put it with... They're over here. They've been moved. Put it with these shoes, which are just perfect for that kind of outfit, I think. These are actually Zara from last year. They're stunning. They're just really nice, like, chunky little mule things. And then I've got a white blazer with a linen dress from Urban Outfitters. Can you spot the theme here? A lot of the same linen, but across different pieces. So this little short dress I thought was really cute with the white blazer. And we're doing a gin tasting and stuff, so I thought that could be a cute one. Or that could be quite good for um, lunch in a walled garden, because apparently we're doing like lunch in a walled garden, which would be beautiful. And that's kind of giving summer vibes, especially with those shoes. This is an outfit that I'm just packing as a spare to go home in slash go for the lunch in, just depending how I feel. And then I've got this black dress, which is another potential. This is, again, from Evan Outfitters Linen Collection. It's stunning. It has got pockets, I think, if I remember rightly. Yeah. And it's just like a dropped waist. It's really stunning. But yeah, that's what I'm going to pack. So basically an outfit for like getting there for dinner for the next day couple of extras and also I need to pack active wear because apparently we're doing yoga in the morning so that's what you can look forward to on that vlog which I think should be up I want to say I'm putting it up on Thursday but it depends if I've got an ad going live so if the ad goes live it'll be a fashion video if not it'll be up then but I'm still trying to post these Australia vlogs so just bear with because they're going to be coming up like kind of dotted in and out the next couple of weeks alongside more current content so I just wanted to make sure they all go up but I also want to keep my regular stuff too so I better get my suitcase out but Miss Ebonita is coming in a minute with Buddy because James and Buddy are BFFs so we thought that it'd be nice if they came over and she's gonna have some dinner with us and we're just gonna watch tv and stuff and just chat and chill and but it is um very warm today so Oh, and before I forget, I got a little PR mailer from um, a PR that I work with quite a lot. So they kindly sent me some bits from the brands they work with. So I've got the Intuition 2-in-1 razor, which I've actually never tried, but I think this could be quite good to give a go. I normally use the Estrid, but I'll see if this is any good. And then I've got this, which is the Daily Firming Lotion from saint which is a gradual tan. I'm actually really interested to try this because I always use like mousse tans and I find they dry my skin out a little bit. So I'm thinking, do I try and switch to one of these where it's like a gradual tan, so you kind of use it every day or use it every other day or whatever. But I think it might be quite nice for also keeping the moisturisation of my skin. I've got a salt scrub, which I actually thought was bar salts, but it's not, but it's beautiful packaging. So this is from Sanctuary Spa and I'm going to pop this in my bathroom on my little like bath caddy and then I've got a skin food body butter which looks so green <laughs> why is it green packaging makes you instantly think like health and like plants you know this one I think will be quite a good one it's quite a small pot actually I thought it'd be a bit bigger but I'm gonna give it a smell and a try and see what I think but I've heard good things about this one on TikTok so I'm intrigued to see what it's like and how it is 
It says for dry and very dry skin, so could be quite good for right now because my legs are very dry at the moment. But that's it for this weekly vlog, guys. I really hope you enjoyed seeing what I got up to over the last couple of days, going to the Harry Styles concert. I'm really sorry I didn't vlog too much while I was there. I was so in the moment that I'm surprised I even got as many videos as I did, but I wanted to just really enjoy it and just have some time with my friend and just like soak it all in, you know, like just have a really good time. And I've been trying to cram a whole week of work into two days because I'm going away for this two days. And I'm away this weekend too because obviously it's Father's Day, I've got multiple things to do. If you liked it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Hit subscribe if you want to see more from me. And don't forget to hit the little bell button as well if you want to be notified when I upload. My typical upload days are Tuesday, Thursday and Sunday is the weekly vlog. Tuesday and Thursday sometimes gets a bit mixed around. Normally I'll upload on at least one of them but I'm trying to get back into doing two a week in the week and then the vlogs. So... Yes, I will love and leave you. Bye guys.